Hello everybody, this is Bram here, and today I have another command block tutorial for you guys, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make randomized textures with command blocks. And you know, it's been a while guys, so guys, if you are enjoying this video or are going to enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. But yeah guys, let's get started on this tutorial. So guys, the way that this system works is what you want to do is you want to tag yourself with the world edit command, and then you basically make a platform or like whatever you're building, you can build it out of one block that you're not using in the texture, and then you can r literally just run over it and it will retexture it the way that uh, you want it to. It will just randomize the texture and replace that. Like I use sponge because I don't really use sponge in my builds, but um, I also use clay. But it really depends on what you're using. And you use that block as like a placeholder block to keep the shape of the structure. And then you basically just go through and then uh, replace any block that kind of went up. But, you know, this is a completely randomized texture and I did that in a matter of seconds. So it's just super awesome. And, you know, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click this button and reset that to sponge. Okay, guys, let me teach you guys how to build this. So first thing you're going to want to do is give yourself a command block like this, and then you get a command block. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to type these into your chat. So basically, the first thing you're going to want to do is scoreboard objectives add world edit dummy or W.E. So that gives you the scoreboard of uh, world edit or I, I choose W.E. the shortened world edit. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tag yourself with the world edit uh, tag, which is tag at p add we. And basically, whenever you use this, you want to give yourself the tag. But whenever you're done using it, it's important to remove the tag from yourself. So tag at p remove world edit. So basically, you use this one to add yourself the tag. And then you use this one to remove the tag whenever you're done. Okay, guys, this is how you want to set up the next part. You want to start with a repeating block and then do chains like this. So in the repeating command block, it's repeat, unconditional, always active. Then you want to do execute at, at a, tag equals world edit, run, fill, and then you want to put these numbers. And then coco, replace, sponge. So basically what this is doing is it's executing at all players tagged with world edit and filling uh, five blocks in every direction, coco beans, and it's only replacing sponge with cocoa beans. So that's what that's doing. And then the next one's going to be chain unconditional always active. And you do execute at at e type equals item name equals cocoa beans. Run scoreboard players random at e type equals item name equals cocoa beans. W e one through four. So basically this is executing at all of the cocoa beans. And giving them a scoreboard. Um, on the WE scoreboard that we made earlier and giving them a random number between 1 and 4. And you can change this number depending on how many materials you want or how many, how often you want the materials to spawn. So 1 to 4 because we only have 4 different blocks that we're using. And then the next block is chain unconditional always active and it's execute at, at E. It's execute at at E. Type equals item, name equals cocoa beans, scores equals we equals one. Run, set block, cobblestone. So basically what this is doing is whenever you have an item with a score of we1, or should I say a cocoa bean item with a score of we1, it set blocks a cobblestone exactly at that position. And then same thing with the next one, but the only difference is the different item you're placing and the different number, so that's going to be two. And then this one is the same, but three in stone. And then finally, this one is gravel, so four in gravel. So this is pretty straightforward. This is the command that you're going to do as many blocks as, or as many commands you have to block. So it's super awesome. If you want to add more blocks, um, increase the range that the randomized can be and then increase the amount of commands that you have per that block. So if you had six blocks, you would do six commands, or eight bl blocks, you do eight commands. So it's like that. And then finally, this last command block is chain, unconditional, always active at the very end of the command. So you just put this one at the end 
of all your commands. And it's kill at E, type equals item, name equals cocoa beans, uh, score equals, scores equals WE equals zero dot dot four. So basically, it's killing all the cocoa beans that have the score from zero to four in the world that it, or the WE scoreboard that we made. And, you know, that's kind of, that's the system. That is the system. It's a super easy system, super simple. And, you know, this has honestly helped me in building because it saved so much time. So I recommend trying this out, using it, and, you know, put it to the test. You know, build, build your map with complete ease. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and you find it useful. And with that being said, guys, um, stay tuned for the next video. And this has been Graham. And I'm